Good morning, good morning. It is 4.55 a.m. and I just pulled into boot camp. As you can see, it is still pitch black outside. I'm tired this morning, but I'm here. I'm here. Now, today was one of those days that I considered just turning off my alarm, going back to sleep, try to tell myself you can get up later, go do a workout at the gym. You don't have to get up at 4 a.m. to go to boot camp, but I got up because it's important to me and it's something that I look forward to and I have the accountability of my boot camp group. So I'm here. I'm tired. I I'm definitely tired, but I think once I get going, I'll be able to just kick it into full gear and do my workout. She usually works us really hard on Mondays. I feel like she's making up for the weekend when there's no boot camp. So fingers crossed I can make it through this boot camp and get back home and get ready for the day. I did have a little bit of my protein coffee this morning. I drank about half of it before I headed out the door. I'll go ahead and pop here on the screen what's in my protein coffee. I'll finish that when I get home and get ready for the day. But let me grab my weights, my yoga mat, and we're gonna make it through today's boot camp. One hour later. Welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. I am home, I am ready for the day. I just finished doing my hair, my makeup, getting dressed for the day, did a little bit of work on my computer, finished my protein coffee, and now I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry for breakfast, and I was told about this breakfast recipe from one of my coaching clients. She said it is game-changing, life-altering, amazing. So we're gonna go in the kitchen and make it. I wanted to officially welcome you to today's What I Eat in a Day. We have a pretty busy day ahead of us today. I want to do my fall home tour. The dog's bark box should show up today, and you know how excited Palmer gets with that. I just have a lot of good stuff in store for you. Also quickly before we go into the kitchen, the flannel that I'm wearing is actually from Walmart. I did an entire epic Walmart try on haul for fall and winter. I'll link it down below for you, but this flannel is from there and I absolutely love it. So let's go into the kitchen and make this epic life-changing breakfast. So this recipe is called cookie baked oatmeal. And like I said, one of my coaching clients swears by this recipe. She said it literally is the best breakfast. So I'm super excited. Let me quickly show you what you'll need. So you're going to need some salt. These are my little gravity fed salt and pepper grinders. I'll link those for you. They're off of Amazon, super affordable. Chocolate chips, this is just a mix of Lakanto and Lily's. Now the chocolate chips are optional, but obviously I'm adding in some chocolate chips. Rolled oats, milk of your choice. I'm going with Fairlife for that extra punch of protein. One egg, half of a banana, a packet or so of sweetener and some baking soda. So you're going to need some sort of oven safe baking dish. I have these little ramekins, so I'm going to use that. Into a blender, I'm gonna use my little magic bullet because it's super easy and convenient. We're going to add half of a banana, a quarter cup of milk, half of a cup of rolled oats, one egg, spoon of baking soda, our little packet of sweetener, and a little salt. And we're going to blend that up until it makes our mixture. Your little ramekin or whatever dish you're using, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we're going to pour this batter into the ramekin. And then we're going to top it with some chocolate chips. I'm just going to put a few. So we're putting this beauty here into our 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. While my breakfast is in the oven. I'm gonna mix up my BCAAs. I definitely need these after my workout. This is the 6 a.m. run in lemon lime. I use this every time I lift weights or do boot camp, so five days per week. It is just a great recovery supplement full of BCAAs, vitamins, things that help you recover, help with muscle soreness. It's really been a game changer for me. I like the watermelon flavor better than the lemon lime, but the lemon lime is good too. I will link this down below for you guys with 20% off. So I just add a scoop to my water bottle, fill with water, ice, shake it up, and I drink this within about an hour or so after I get home from my workout. 
All right, I just pulled breakfast out of the oven. That was me that put a hole in the middle. I wanted to make sure that it was cooked all the way through. I am going to have some raspberries as well, but we definitely want to taste test this. I want to break into it and see what it looks like. Ooh, that looks really good. It looks like a cookie. And the chocolate chips just kind of sunk a little bit, but we definitely need to give this a taste test. So the recipe said you could put a little bit of flaky sea salt on top. Ooh, it, sm it smells like a chocolate chip cookie. It tastes like a chocolate chip cookie, like a freshly baked cookie. I will say it's not very sweet. I think maybe an extra little bit of sweetener in there, maybe another packet. My coaching client mentioned a teaspoon and I don't think those packets are quite a teaspoon, but it still tastes really good, has really good flavor, really good texture. Definite win. So I'm eating my breakfast and a couple of notes about the cookie baked oatmeal. Number one, definitely add a little bit more sweetener than the one packet, definitely a teaspoon or so. What I ended up doing was putting some of the Lakanto maple syrup on top and that's really good. Second side note about the baked oatmeal, I would recommend baking powder over baking soda. And now that I think about it, I think she mentioned that because I can taste the baking soda in there. And I think if you used baking powder, you wouldn't have, you know, that kind of baking soda taste. I mean, it tastes really, really good. I highly recommend. There's just a couple of little tweaks that you can make, I think, to make it even better. I'm gonna have a morning snack. I'm pretty hungry today from boot camp. I think I burned a lot of calories, lots of energy. It is about 10 o'clock, so I'm gonna have a morning snack. I think, I think we're gonna go to Dunkin' and get a coffee. I feel like I definitely need a second coffee, so we'll head on out here in a little bit to Dunkin', but I'm going to keep my snack super simple. I'm going to have one of the Baby Bell cheese. I think this is the sharp cheddar. It's so good. And then I'm gonna have Nick's stick. So I've shared these on my channel a lot, but it's been a while. These are my all-time favorite meat sticks. You actually get both of these for 75 calories and there's 10 grams of protein. They are a grass-fed, grass-finished, Whole30 approved, no, ant no antibiotics, just a really clean, healthy meat stick option. And I really love that you get two of them for the points and calories. I buy these on Amazon. That is the cheapest place that I have found them. They're actually in my Amazon store under WW Food, so I'll link it down below for you. But we're sticking with lots of protein for a morning snack. Okay, I'm in the drive-thru at Dunkin'. I ate my morning snack and I was like, you know what? This is the ideal time to run out and pick up a second coffee for the day. So I just ordered a medium iced Americano with an extra shot black. And then what I like to do when I get home is put in my sugar-free or no sugar added peppermint mocha creamer. So I'll show you guys that when I get home. That's all I grabbed. It is a beautiful day. It is 60 degrees right now, but I think it's going to be in the low 70s today. This is perfect weather. I mean, it's cool this morning when I went to boot camp, but this is ideal weather. So let's grab coffee number two for the day. I'm home and this is what I put in my coffee. So I just get a medium Americano with an extra shot. There's never any ice in here, which I hate, but I usually take a few sips, add two tablespoons of my zero, zero sugar peppermint mocha creamer, add some ice and live my best life with my second coffee of the day. Welcome back outside. We are going to do the fall home tour. You guys loved my Halloween home tour and we've put up some fall decorations for Thanksgiving. And then of course we'll do a Christmas home tour. So we're going to start outside just like we did with Halloween. I'm going to show you the few decorations I put up outside and then I'll bring you inside and show you all of our fun fall and Thanksgiving decorations.
All right, I'm gonna make some lunch. I am pretty darn hungry. And like I promised when I did my grocery haul that I would show you guys that we would taste test these burgers together. These are from the brand Mighty Spark and these are a, chick, a spinach and feta all natural chicken patty. 23 grams of protein, 170 calories. They have nice clean ingredients and I found these at my local Kroger store. I'm actually going to go ahead and cook up both of them just so that I have a second one on hand for a quick and easy lunch. That's a pro tip for you guys. If you can make more than one when you're making a breakfast or a lunch, you'll have it on hand and ready for the next day or a day later in the week. So we're going to fry up both of those burgers. I think I'm going to top it with a slice of the Jarlsberg light Swiss cheese from Trader Joe's. You can also find this at other grocery stores. I always just buy it at Trader Joe's. And then I'm going to use some of the Sweet Baby Ray's no sugar added honey mustard dipping sauce. It's 130 calories for two tablespoons. It's pretty high in calories considering it's a no sugar added sauce, but I'm just going to do one tablespoon, which should be plenty to dip my burger in. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna have some chips. So I'm gonna do a bag of the Quavos. You guys already know. I love these. These are the cheddar. There's eight grams of protein in these chips. They're made from egg whites, but they taste like a regular chip. They're so good. I buy these off of Amazon. I'm on the subscribe and save. They come to my doorstep once a month. So I'll link them down below for you on Amazon. So, so good. And then I might have some fruit. I have some of the moon drop grapes. Yeah, I'm gonna have some grapes. Grapes. I definitely want some grapes. So I'm going to have some of the moon drop grapes. I've been getting some questions on these. Number one, these are seasonal. So they're only around, I believe, in the fall and winter. I buy mine at Sprouts. They're kind of these long, odd-shaped grapes, but they taste so good. So I'm gonna have some of those as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my burgers frying up, spray some nonstick cooking spray, and let's add both of the burgers. These smell so yummy. Oh my gosh, I am pretty darn excited for these. So my burgers are just about done. They're still smelling amazing. So I'm going to top them with a slice of cheese. I'm gonna turn off the heat. I just want that cheese to get a little bit melty. So here's my lunch. I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty darn excited. So I do have the burger with a slice of the light Swiss. I weighed out one tablespoon of the honey mustard on my food scale, my Quavos chips, and my moon drop grapes. I'll go ahead and put points, calories here on the screen for you. Let's test these burgers to see if they're worth the hype. So I have you up close and personal so we can taste test these burgers. Ooh, they look so good. Like I said, I've heard such good things about these. So I'm gonna take one bite of it by itself so I can really get the flavor of the burger. Then we'll dip it in the honey mustard, see what we think. Mmm, that is delicious. Oh my gosh, it is so, so full of flavor. Mmm. That's one of the best chicken burgers I've ever had. Honestly, it doesn't even need a sauce. It has so much flavor. That is so good. They had one other kind at the store. I don't even remember what it was, but I'm definitely picking that up. I already know I love my grapes. I already know I love my Quavos. And now I know I love those burgers. Million out of 10. So I just got the mail and since I was filming today then I would show you that my dossier fragrances I ordered came in. As you know, I love dossier. They they recreate high-end perfumes for super affordable prices. Their fragrances generally range from about $29 to $39. They're always running amazing, amazing specials on their website. And I will link an additional discount down in the description box for you so that you can double dip your discounts. You can actually pair that discount with whatever is going on on their site. And like I said, especially with the holidays coming Black Friday, they always have some amazing, amazing deals. So I picked up a couple of new fragrances for the fall months. The packaging of Dossier is absolutely stunningly beautiful. They make amazing gifts. I actually think, spoiler alert, I may order one for my mom and send it her way for the holidays. The packaging is really nice and one of my favorite features is the lid is magnetic. So these are the fragrances that always stay in my purse because I don't have to worry about them spilling all over. I just love the magnetic lid. So I ended up getting two scents. So the first one is Floral Marshmallow and this is inspired by Killian's Love Don't Be Shy OD Perfume. That's a very expensive perfume, but it's a fragrance that I love. And every time I'm in the store, I smell it. And as soon as I saw that they came out with their recreation of it, 
add to cart. It was a no-brainer for me. This has top notes of marshmallow, neroli, and bergamot. I mean, say the word marshmallow and I'm sold. We have middle notes of orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine, and orris, and base notes of amber, vanilla, and musk. It's a dream. It is fruity. It is sweet to have a little undernote of that vanilla musk. I've been so excited to smell this and it is a dead on match to the Killian fragrance. I can't believe how amazing this smells and how close to the Killian it is. I feel like I need to wear this today because I'm that excited about it. The staying power of the Dossier fragrances is also really, really good and you can't beat the price compared to the retail value of the actual Killian brand. I'll put the Killian perfume versus the Dossier price here on the screen for you, but Floral Marshmallow is going to make a frequent appearance for me for fragrance. And then the second one that I picked up is another one I'm really excited about. This is the Ambery Vanilla, and this is a recreation of YSL's Black Opium. I love Black Opium. I've received a few sample sizes and fell in love with it, but it's a really, really pricey perfume. So when I saw that Dossier had Ambery Vanilla, again, add to cart, the notes of this one are top notes of mandarin, pear, pink pepper, and licorice. I mean, how amazing does that sound? Middle notes of jasmine and orange blossom, and base notes of cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee. I love a good note of coffee in a fragrance, and I love black opium. <sighs> wow. That is so yummy. That's black opium. I just, I can't. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they recreate so specifically the high-end fragrance, make it smell exactly the same way for such an affordable price. All I know is that my office smells amazing, I smell amazing, and I'm super excited about Ambery Vanilla as well. So these are gonna be my go-to fall fragrances, and again, these make amazing gifts. Plan ahead, order ahead, take advantage of all the sales on the Dossier website, pair that with the code down below for an additional discount. My little fall gift to myself. So it's afternoon snack time and I wanna share with you guys a snack. I've been testing out, taste testing over the last few weeks and I've really, really grown to love it. It is such a protein packed snack and this particular combination is my all time favorite. So you're gonna need four simple ingredients for this. First of all, is this. So this is new to my life from Ghost. You guys know I love Ghost protein powder. This is their whey protein and this is the flavor apple cider donut. This is new for fall, new for the holidays. There's 140 calories, 25 grams of protein. This is so good, it tastes like apple cider. And then you've got that little like donut vibe. It's incredible. So for this recipe, you'll need a protein powder. I highly recommend this one. It is limited edition. I will definitely link it down below for you. And then you're gonna need some plain non-fat Greek yogurt, some cinnamon, and then I like to use the no sugar added apple pie filling. I just picked this up at Walmart. You can use any no sugar added pie filling, but I really like the apple of this paired with the apple of this. It's all my dreams come true. So let me turn you down and let's make a snack. So the first thing I'm going to do is weigh out one serving, which is 170 grams of the non-fat Greek yogurt. Okay, there is 170 grams, which is one serving, 100 calories, and is gonna give you 18 grams of protein. Some protein, some Greek yogurts have even more protein than that, but this one from Members Mark, which is Sam's Club, I really like. Here is what that yummy protein powder looks like. So we're going to do an entire scoop of the protein powder. As soon as I open this, all I smell is apple pie. It just smells so stinking good. So I'm going to mix that protein powder in really well with my Greek yogurt. And then I'm going to add 70 grams of my apple pie filling. And then I like to sprinkle it with some cinnamon. And here is my snack. I'm telling you, this is so good. It gives me all the apple pie, apple cider vibes. Highly recommend this ghost protein powder. Of course, I'll link it for you. This is packed with protein. We have 25 grams in the protein powder, and then I have 18 grams in my non-fat Greek yogurt. And it tastes like a spicy apple pie donut dessert. It is so good. Definitely, definitely recommend. I'll go ahead and put point macros, all the information here on the screen for you. Okay, so Bark Box is here. This should be the Halloween, or not Halloween, that's over, Thanksgiving themed Bark Box. 
It is the Give em Thanks box. Here is a peek inside. Palmer's already at my feet, so we're gonna go through this guy quickly. I'll link BarkBox down below for you guys with a discount code. It's a subscription box for your dogs. We get it every single month. Our dogs love it. Palmer's staring at me. So let's go through the babies first. So the first thing we have is the Give em Thanks Squeak Potato Fries instead of Sweet Potato Fries. So it has little French fries and kind of the crunchy, crunchy sound and a squeaker. Yeah, I know, using, you got your paw because you're waiting. <laughs> Look at him. And then we have this, this is so cute, the gobbler. So it's a burger that looks like a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> this is great and it's definitely a squeaky one and then you always get some treats so we have the cheesy peasy cheese recipe soft baked treats and the gobble tur turkey nibbles and then we've been getting the same pumpkin and honey recipe bone every month and then inside the box it gives you some of the other stuff that you could have received in your bark box but again I'll link it down below for you it's a really fun box for the dogs so I like to give them the little pumpkin stick, and then Troy always picks which treat goes to Palmer. So would you like the hamburger that has turkey legs? Somebody's not patient. Hamburger. Or the french fries, the hamburger? All right, let's do it. He's waiting impatiently. Let me show you, let me flip you guys around. Are you patient? Oh, Palmer, you little turd. Did you see that? He jumped up and took it right out of my hand. Your brother is rude. Do you guys want your treats? You want your pumpkin, your pumpkin bomb? So I broke the little pumpkin stick up so they could each have a piece. Here you go, bud. Are you sitting like a good girl? Good job, Lola. Palmer, do you want a pumpkin? Oh, you're here. Do you want this? That was not very nice of you to take that from mommy. You wait your turn. Good sit. Good sit. For dinner tonight, I am making Mexican rice. So this is kind of a spin on Spanish rice with protein. So let me show you what's in the recipe. You're going to need some rice of your choice. This is actually brown rice. You can use brown rice, white rice. Our favorite is jasmine. Taco seasoning, salsa, one third less fat cream cheese, light shredded cheese, cooked shredded chicken. You can make it yourself or take the easy way like I do and buy it from Sprouts or your grocery store. And you'll need a can of black beans and a can of corn. So to make my rice, I'm gonna use my Dash rice maker. You guys know I absolutely love this. I bought it on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. I'm going to add one cup of rice, one cup of water, set it and forget it. So to make the rice, Everything goes into the bowl, including the rice when it's cooked. So I did add a quarter cup of one third less fat cream cheese. Palmer's playing with his new baby. I'm going to add about two cups of shredded chicken. I'm just shredding it up just a little bit more, just so there's a little more chicken per bite of the Mexican rice. Then we're going to add in our entire can of black beans, drained and rinsed our can of corn, half of a cup of salsa. We're gonna need two cups of cheese total, but we only want to add half to this and reserve the other half. This bag is two cups, so we're gonna use the whole thing, reserve the other half to top our rice, and then taco seasoning and mix it all together. Once our rice is done cooking, we'll add it as well, and then we'll be ready to get this into a baking dish and into the oven. My rice is done, so I'm going to go ahead and add it to the mixture, stir it all together, and I sprayed my baking dish here with some nonstick cooking spray. Then we're going to add our mixture to our baking dish. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. Spread that out nice and even. We're going to put the last cup of light shredded cheese right on top, and then we're going to cover with foil. I'm gonna use the lid that came with my little casserole dish here, but if you don't have a lid, you wanna go ahead and cover the whole thing with foil, throw it in that 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes. So here is the Mexican rice out of the oven. I did go ahead and chop up some fresh cilantro. I'm going to sprinkle that on top and then I'll plate up dinner and I'll be back to share points, calories, and protein. 
So here is my dinner. This looks so good. The entire recipe makes only eight servings, so it's a pretty good size serving. And again, I'll pop all of the information here on the screen. So I'm ending out my day with dessert, and I'm gonna have a serving of my Drizzlelicious salted caramel little rice cakes. You guys know I love these. I shared these in my favorite sweet snacks video that I did with Nikki Gets Fit. You can have 21 of these for 90 calories. I love these. I've tried all the flavors. They're really good. I love the birthday cake one. I love the salted caramel one. And basically these are little teeny mini rice cakes. So there's what they look like. And they're drizzled with salted caramel or whatever flavor you want. They have this really yummy sweet drizzle over the top. Super crunchy, the perfect way to end out my night. I will link these down below. I do buy them off of Amazon, so I'll put that in the description box. But I'm gonna do 21 pieces, 21 grams, 90 calories in the points here on the screen. Thank you for joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me, seeing the Bark Box, my new perfumes, going to boot camp with me, all the amazing food. Both of the recipes, the dinner recipe and my breakfast recipe will be on my website. I'll make sure that's linked down in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, all the products that I shared with you today. And of course, come on over, join my Facebook group. We would love to have you. I hope you have an amazing, amazing, amazing day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.